Who the f is Ken and Scott? Ken and Scott is a father, a husband, a social activist, and a rollerblader, first and foremost. Come on. Yeah, follow me cause I'm the leader Going in this microphone and coming out your speaker How else am I gonna reach ya? How did I get into skating? Well, I used to jump stairs and garbage cans and bomb hills And then one day, I saw these young men skating a curb And I thought to myself, that's amazing And literally the next weekend, it was Nis down at South Street Seaport And I went and I saw Ryan Jacklone do an Illusion 540 And I was hooked, and it's all I've ever wanted to do Jack Long to take wing. This is an interesting young going toward the pyramid. Why skating and not skateboarding? I grew up the son of a dancer, and so I know the importance of my feet, and I always knew how to use them. Skateboarding never felt like it was connected to my feet enough for me to really do what I wanted to do with them. And so in order to be the best I could be, I chose rollerblading. Did I start skating in New York? Of course, right in Park Slope, Brooklyn, as part of the Park Slope skate cult. Shout out to Sam Hindi, Omar Morrissey, right? All the homies in Brooklyn, that's who I started skating with. How different is the skating in New York versus San Francisco? It's so different. In New York, every little borough has a different crew and every crew is battling. I mean, Battle My Crew used to happen at the Brooklyn Banks every day that we went there. Here in California, it's much different. It's a wide open, beautiful space where everybody's inclusive and welcome, and we don't really battle as much as we are a family all around the Bay Area. Yeah. is my life in the Bay Area as a skater, it's amazing. I go by legendary spots every day and think about the tricks that were done on them, the tricks that can be done, and how I'm gonna do something new on it. Plus I have the greatest crew in all of rollerblading. Shoot, sucker fools! Longest crew running, biggest crew, and we got three, four generations deep, and we got young JSF or juniors coming up right now. So being in the Bay Area and skating in the Bay Area is beautiful, it's amazing, and I mean, Look at this sun. How can I complain? I landed on the north side. This is my old zone. Oops, I made my old zone. It's in my chromosome. These thundercats and whippersnappers play in my old zone. Shit, I'm like an OG. That's what they told me. What was the worst accident to ever happen to me? As any blader, you have lots of acts. I've fallen a million times. And oftentimes I thought the worst accident that would ever happen to me was when I was doing something big, some huge trick where I was trying to be the best and the greatest. And actually, the worst accident that ever happened to me was two years ago, December 11th, and I fell at Berkeley Skate Park on a routine soul grind. I just never waxed the ledge. I went super fast, I stuck, and I fell backwards, right there to the back of my head. And when I hit, my brain did a crazy thing that I never knew could happen. It bounced, it rebounded inside my skull, and the brain is soft. The skull is hard on purpose, but when my brain hit my skull, it scrambled my front or lobe because of the rebound. I have four fractures in my skull, including one straight through my eye. And I spent a week in the hospital and I've been recovering for the last two years from my traumatic brain injury. And that is the worst injury I've ever had. What did I learn from my traumatic brain injury, the worst injury I've had skating, is that we're really fragile. We may think we're super tough. We may know that we are resilient and that we power through all types of injuries, but we don't know how fragile our brains are. We don't know how fragile what happens up here and how like it is interconnected to everything we do. And so what I learned was to be safe with your head. And that's what I try to promote from here on out is like, I wear a helmet every time I strap on, every time I do anything on wheels, to be quite honest with you, because I know the smallest little thing can become the end of your life. I almost lost my life that day on December 11th. And that I never want to repeat again. And I never want anyone else to have to repeat that too. So through wearing a helmet, I found a way to avoid that from happening to me. I no longer have to worry about my head as much. To be honest, I still do. And I try to spread that awareness to everybody through my YouTube channel. Blading on the brain. 
because I see everything out here with the same eyes of a rollerblader where we can skate anything anything here but i know that i have to be safe and so whenever you see me skating you're gonna see me rocking a helmet because i'm trying to promote the message that safety is just as cool as landing tricks because you can do it forever and when you die it's over and i don't want anyone to die doing the sport they love i want you to live and have fun doing the sport you love hola youtube my name's biz and apparently i'm a wheel addict Man, that's biz, but I'm bleeding on the brain and I'm a wheel addict. <laughs> I'm the real one. Where do I see skating five years from now? I see all of skating coming together as a community. I was fortunate enough to do my first Friday night skate and I saw a whole new community that I never knew existed in rollerblading here in the Bay Area. And so what I see for the future is that we're accepting now, finally, of everyone who has wheels strapped on their feet. Quads, big wheels, freestyle, inline, aggressive, whatever it is. We're all gonna come together as a community to support, love, and grow together. How old am I? I am. Oh, it has the power. It's